These are Polymer 8308 and AR-15 lowers that are assembled. And the main difference between them, as you can see, is in the magwell here of the 308, just the bullets are longer. But the hammer, trigger, and safety geometry is all the same. So you buy a lower parts kit for an AR-15, just a standard, and then you use it on the DPMS pattern 308 or AR-10. There's just a few other pieces that you have to buy to make this these parts usable on this frame, which I'll show you here in just a minute. These are the parts that you buy in addition to a standard AR-15 lower parts kit. We'll go through them real quick. We have the front pivot pin that needs to be longer, it's the same diameter but longer than the AR-15. Same thing for the rear takedown pin. The bolt catch is much larger on the 308 uh, DPMS pattern than standard AR-15 and it's held in place by this special threaded pin instead of a roll pin. The extended mag release is recommended, not necessary, just a standard mag release that's kind of flush and it's hard to operate on a DPMS pattern 308 lower, so I recommend the extended mag release. So here are the 308 and the AR-15 side by side. You can see the vast difference in magwell size on the AR-10 and how it's a little longer. And the bolt catch between them, the size difference. Same hammer trigger mechanisms, same safety. Uh, the difference in beefiness here and why this pin has to be longer. And then the difference in length of the frame on the AR-10 from the pin back to the buffer tube is considerable. A real common question with the AR-10 is, uh, are the stocks the same for AR-10 and AR-15? And the answer is yes. These stocks can be used uh, between AR-10s and AR-15s doesn't matter. What matters is the size between mill spec and commercial spec. But even these tubes are uh, interchangeable between the AR-10 and AR-15. What's different is the spring and the buffer are specific to the 308 AR-10. And I don't know any uh, easy way to tell a 308 spring from an AR-15 spring just by looking at it. So keep them separate. The castle nut and the plate are also interchangeable. But I highly recommend Anderson's kit that comes with the tube, castle nut plate, spring, buffer. The plate is thicker on the Anderson kit for the AR-10 versus the AR-15. And it comes with a really nice little plug that goes in the back of your frame here that makes installation just a lot easier.